Hey guys, what's going on? This is the OU oh better that I just did say that I was going to post a little bit later on in my earlier video. In case you guys did not, for whatever reason, see the NU better that I just posted, double header. So I'm going to start things off with my choice scarf for them. Unfortunately, right off the bat, I'm going to miss an attack. So that kind of got to me because it's like, you know, I could have got some hefty damage, maybe about 60% off on that Espeon man. I was thinking like it was probably like light screen. I would have been like a completely upset right then and there. And I was, I really was. I was like, I cannot believe this shit is happening right away. Anyway, he switches right out into um, Chansey. I guess this one's all my special attacks. I'm gonna go out to my fortress, go for the ball switch to see what he will, um, you know, switch out into. Instead of going to Polytoad, I'm knowing full well that if even a, like a Choice Scarf Moxie won't be able to finish off a uh, Polytoad, he, I think he knows that as well. You know, just in case he happens to be Choice Scarf. So I'm just gonna take this opportunity to switch out into Scissor, predicting him to switch out into his Chansey to sponge into special hits. That's what he does. I'm gonna go ahead. The U turn them to get um, switch priority onto it. I think I'm going to threaten him out with the Rotom, is what I believe I do. Actually, no. What I do is um, I'm going to go out to Fortress, right? Thinking that I have like the faster Fortress, and I'm thinking, all right, all right, you know, I'm so ingenious, whatever, like that. Not paying attention that he would cover leftovers first, so he would go first, so it would make no sense of me staying in, setting up entry hats. It's only for him to. Rapid spin away my entry has as a vault switch. So I'm thinking like, all right, you know, I got this dude. I'm just gonna um, you know, continue to vault switch or whatever like that. Um, vault switch out while he uh, rapid spins my entry has away, and I'll be one up on him. Was where Pokemon would be concerned because as I vault switch out, me thinking that I'm faster than his, you know, fortress as I just did explain. Um, I would have an immediately an immediate threat, and he would have to switch out as I, you know, get switch party. But what I can do, what I, I'm kind of thought about in my own mistake is that I could just stay in here and keep vault switching out until he switches out into something else because I know he's not going to want to lose his fortress right away. Uh, rapid, I'm kind of tempted to rapid spin. He does have one layer of toxic spikes and one layer of regular spikes. So I thought he was going to bring his Gengar anyway, but like I said before, if he, just in case he did happen to bring in the fortress, I can just keep vault switching out Rotom, um, fortress, Rotom, fortress until his, his own fortress bit the dust. So, um, none of that even happens. He goes straight up to Chansey. I'm thinking, like, all right, I know this guy's going to go out to Chansey because that's what he did before. I'm thinking, like, all right, I probably, I was so, so close to clicking the trick. You have no idea, ladies and gentlemen. None whatsoever. I know he's going to um, either stay in because I did U-turn last turn and or probably switch out. He's going to go to Fortress. Unfortunately, a choice band is super power coming from Adam and Scissors. Not going to be enough to finish off that bulky defensive Fortress and he recovers all his HP because of the amount of HP that Chansey has. So it's going to go and be transferred all to, um, to what's this thing called? Fortress. So it's crazy. So now he's going to continue to set up entry hazards. I just um, tend to rapid spin away again. He's going to switch out into his uh, Infernape. I'm going to set myself rock because I want to dwindle down the amount of turns that Solomons could come in and do attacks. And unfortunately, I made a mistake here. I switched out into my Polytoad. Now, why do you think that's a mistake? Because, you know, it's kind of obvious for him to do a fight off. Uh, fire type move instead of a fighting type and even if he went for a fighting I'm sorry a fire type move it would have been smart for me to stay in anyway because I do have the earthquake and not saying that earthquake would finish off the um the furnace after a minus one from its own close combat but you know I could have bring in something to kind of threaten it right away preferably my rotom wash and then just vault switch out because considering that he will want to save us in for later on see how much damage that vault switch did that coupled with the earthquake provided that he stays in with the inferno it would have been enough to finish off inferno anyway so you know that would have been a smarter move in the case anyway she's so just, just gonna go for the close combat here and um I think not now he's gonna probably switch up his moves since I've seen the leftovers he's not like locked on to anything specifically so um it's really weird me commentating I'm hearing these two cats fighting outside it's crazy I really want to be nosy and see uh, what the commotion is all about but um what kind of priorities here but um, I'm just gonna U-turn after living. The, um, wow, they're going serious. I don't know if you guys can hear them. That's crazy. Okay, it's a couple of them. Okay, I'm gonna stop. All right, so Fortress comes in after I um U-turn to finish off the um the uh, I can't even concentrate. The Infernape, if you guys can only hear this, right? And then afterwards, I'm gonna bring in my Celebi known for that is Death Fighter, so I'm thinking like he probably might go for the Fire Blast, which is what I think because all this time I thought he was like, you know, just locked on. I'm just gonna bring in the Scissor, I have no why, no idea why I did that. I should have just obviously brought in the Rotom, I just took unnecessary self rock damage, from my opinion. 
So I'm just gonna vote switch out. I believe that's what I do. Um, vote switch out. Me thinking that he's probably locked on to um, Fire Blast, so I thought he might want to switch out. So I don't want to switch into anything that would take Quad, but you know, Quad weak into Fire for Fire type attacks. I don't want to be too obvious in bringing the Scissor because I think I might need Scissor for a little bit later on. So I'm running the Fortress just to be safe, just to test his own theory. And it turns out that he happens to be not locked onto anything specifically. I thought he might, you know. Uh, you know, probably go for the Earthquake or maybe a Dragon Claw because it's kind of obvious that I would want to save my Fortress for later on. So after one plus, you know, I, I mean, but then again, he is plus one. So even if I didn't bring in this, the, um, the Rotom, he still does outspeed. So I guess that does make sense for him to go for Fire Blast. And then again, afterwards, if I bring in the Rotom just in case into his Fire Blast, I could have just, he could have just actually switched up moves on me. So that's smart. So in comes the Gengar. I know at this particular range of HP, this is not going to be able to live a um, bullet punch. I'm sorry, not a bullet punch, a focus blast. So at this moment, instead of going for the U-turn, breaking the sub and then bringing in the Rotom like I wanted to do and go for the Vault Switch U-turn combo until I get, you know, Gengar at an amount of HP where I want to finish it off with the bullet punch. Um, I have to go straight for the bullet punch and I thought I was going to be able to survive the, fo the, uh, the focus blast. So I thought he might want to switch in his fortress and then, you know, I guess that's actually, I, that's actually what I would have done. I would have actually switched out into the fortress, I guess, you know, to save my Gengar for a little bit later on. And then maybe, like, double switch out into Chansey or double switch out into something. You know, just utilize what you have perfectly. I know he's going to risk and repeat again, so this time I take the time to go and use the trick. So to lock Chansey onto whatever move he decides to lock himself onto, I was hoping that he might lock himself onto a uh, Seismic Toss. So I could probably get um, something else going. Uh, not my scissor, I guess, because you know, scissor is going to take um, damage as soon as it comes in from the entry hazards, and then my fortress is gone, so I can't spin those hazards away. But what's ironic about me locking on Chansey with a choice scarf is that now he's going to be able to go and die to a special attacker, and that's irony because Chansey is a special wall, and you're made to block those kind of special attacks. So I find irony that I'm going to switch into my scissor so he doesn't get a uh, switch initiative. So now I'm going to go out into my choice card for him. I guess that's the safest thing for me to do. Those cats are bugging me and they're going ham, hey, man. So he's going to go for the sidekick. I lost my choice card, so I'm not going to be able to outspeed it. Rotom bites the dust easily. And Dragonite is my last Pokemon at this moment. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set up a D-Dance. Obviously, I think that he's going to probably go for the sidekick. Um, that's actually what I thought he would do. So he went for the substitute. And I guess after I break the substitute with the Earthquake, because I don't want to lock myself into Outrage yet, seeing that his Fortress is the last Pokemon that he has. Has. He can have access to Gyro Ball, seeing that he didn't do an offensive move with the Fortress as of yet. Except for, you know, Rapid Spin, that doesn't really count 20 base. So I'm able to kill off the Espeon thanks to the added, um, super, the added HP that he lost from the Substitute, as well as my plus one Earthquake. So now I'm not have to, you know, I'm not locked on to, um, Outrage or anything like that. He's gonna go for the Gyro Ball. Unfortunately for him, and much unfortunately for him, he does get a, um, I do actually get a critical hit with the Earthquake. I'm not too sure, plus one, if that really mattered as much or anything like that. Not exactly sure if I would have been able to three-hit KO the, um, the Fortress, or that would have been a two-hit KO in general. So that was definitely a great game. I'm talking way too much, and I'm hella anxious to see those cats fight outside, man. Those cats are going to him. Alright, so, um, I'll see you later. Peace, and what you doing?